I'm Viv Price and I am the Director of Insight Initiatives at Intersections International. I'm also the Artistic Director and Founder of TEA. Jamie Price and Fred Johnson were involved in an 18-month project that was funded by the DOJ that came out of George Mason University, whose goal was to use the Insight approach to work with police departments to start to look at the issue of retaliatory violence. Let's do this by writing a play. This was an effort to bring conflict theory and practice in line with community-oriented policing so as to get on top of the problem of youth violence and retaliatory violence. Theater just provides the ideal way to do that for, for a community. Uniform Justice is a play that tackles the dilemma of retaliatory violence and what what goes on in people's mind when they're faced with a conflict where they have lots of different decisions that they can make, but their heart at that moment is telling them to make the one decision that could mean death, that could mean prison. It's a journey into understanding the relationship between what the uniform represents, the uniform that the community wears, and what are the points of divide. It has helped us to bridge those gaps and build that trust. It's been a learning. We've realized that the ideology behind just arresting people all the time is really we're kind of just spinning our wheels. All you need is a speed bump. Seems amazingly simple. Uh, it's working here and it'll work anywhere. Some hardworking actors who are also Memphians, every one of them has had a negative experience with a police officer. The person that had the most animosity towards police officers, we cast him as the cop. I do not care for the police at all. Every experience I've had with law enforcement in the city of Memphis has been a negative one. It's opened my eyes to what law enforcement has to deal with, but at the same time, it hasn't replaced all the negative, you know, wounds that I have. Uniform Justice is absolutely achieving the goals and the mission that we set out uh, initially. None of this could happen if the community weren't engaged, if the people of Memphis didn't care about their kids and about their communities. We can affect change. We need to have this conversation starter everywhere. So we gotta find a way to put this show on the road, putting a plug in here, putting a plug in everywhere. If we can get people to really sit down like we did last night during our talk back and have them really listen to everything that's going on, then we can start to affect change in the city. And not only the city, but around the world, hopefully. I think this resonates with every major city. I hope it has a life outside of Memphis and a continued life in Memphis. We came here with open ears to engage in a conversation that could bring about a new sense of understanding and a new hope and a new faith that people could start talking to each other again and we could bring about some measure of change. And to that degree, that's exactly what Intersections is.